Yo, what's up, family? Don't forget the Laodiceans who got distracted by desirable things, lulled into a spiritual complacency, family, emphasizing the importance of Luke 21, 36, and watching Christ makes his promise to those living and the end of who are watching that is successfully ever coming. Luke 12, 37, also consider John 17, 3 and Matthew 25, 12. Christ warns his disciples, especially those at the end, that they need to take heed of themselves. The spiritual dangers of carousing and drunkenness only snare. So be aware, the day of the Lord will come, family, unexpectedly, and it will be a day of darkness, not light. We are to pray always and to be vigilant. It is easy for us to make assumptions that will leave us unprepared. There in the time of judgment, 1 Peter 4, 17, God is looking for things like poverty of spirit, a contrite spirit family. Psalms 34, 18 and Psalms 51, 17. He makes note of those who sigh and cry over the abominations. Ezekiel 9, 4. To watch in our day has lost most of its original power, family, and we need to continue to watch. Pay attention to what is happening in Israel and all around us. It's all prophecy, and it all will come to pass. And we live in a, you know, we live in such a great nation, or we used to. But look what's become of this nation. You know, look at all the distractions, all the division. Be vigilant, family. Jesus is telling us how to escape the final effects of the turmoil that is ahead and the judgments. And it's a it's a hour to watch. You know. The roadmap to salvation is through Christ family and that is the only way.